57 year old female with a history of atypical chest pain and a equivocally positive stress test along the inferior wall was referred for a coronary CTA. Given her history, what we are going to do is focus our attention on the right coronary artery. The first thing we're going to do is evaluate the origin of the right coronary artery. On the axial images, we are going to head to the level of the aortic valve, and then using our coronal and sagittal images, obtain two long axis views of the aorta, which produce a beautiful short axis view and that show that the origin of the right coronary artery is normal. However, within the proximal right coronary artery is an area of non-calcified plaque. The next thing we need to do is use multi-planar images to obtain a view of the right coronary artery that shows its course and also shows whether there is calcified or non-calcified plaque within the vessel, and if so, try to assess the amount of stenosis this causes. Using the axial images, we're going to create a four-chamber and two-chamber view. And once we obtain a satisfactory four- and two-chamber view, we're going to create a short axis view of the heart. This allows us to focus on the right coronary artery, which courses in the AV groove, and create a C view, which is outlined. And with this, within the right proximal coronary artery, we find that area of non-calcified plaque. Now we need to evaluate how much, if any, narrowing this is causing in the vessel. Using a combination of our short axis and long axis views, we can tell that there is a significant area of narrowing. Given these findings and the patient's history, this patient would be referred to coronary catheterization for possible confirmation and also for possible intervention.